Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking K channel. I'm cooking a very popular Chinese dish from Sichuan province for dinner today. This is truly a simple dish to make, yet so satisfying. I love preparing this dish on a hectic weeknight when I only have 30 minutes to spare for cooking dinner for my family. Let's get started. Drain 450 gram medium firm tofu and cut it into 1.5 cm cubes. Remove the skin and mince up 1 tablespoonful of garlic and 1 teaspoonful of ginger. Chop up one tablespoonful of spring onions. In a small bowl, add two tablespoonful of chili bean sauce, dou ban jian. One tablespoonful of soy sauce. One tablespoonful of Chinese cooking wine or rice wine. And one teaspoonful of brown sugar. Stir and mix well. Then set aside. In a saucepan, heat two to three tablespoonful of vegetable oil in a medium slow heat. Add in one teaspoonful of Sichuan peppercorns. Feel free to adjust different heat tone to your own preferences. Fry the peppercorns in the oil to infuse the aroma. About five minutes. Then separate the oil from the peppercorns. At this stage, if you prefer, you can also ground the peppercorns and put them back with the oil. If you want a citrusy taste with the numbing, tingling sensation of Sichuan peppercorns, add the oil back to the saucepan again. Then throw in the sauce mixture with minced garlic and ginger. Stir occasionally and heat until fragrant. Then add in the vegetarian minced meat. If you prefer, the original Mapo tofu recipe is minced pork. And fry it until cooked through. Add 
Add in one cup of water or vegetable broth. Bring it up to boil. Thicken with cornstarch mixture. Slurry to thicken the sauce and mix until thoroughly combined. Let it bubble away. The sauce should need seasoning with salt as ingredients are salty already. Until the sauce is thickened. If it gets too thick, splash in a little more water. Now stir in the tofu cubes. Cover it and let it braise for about 5 minutes. That's it. Garnish with a tablespoonful of chopped spring onions. Just look at it. It's incredibly flavorful. It's perfect to serve it over steamed rice for a quick, delicious and healthy weekday dinner. Hope you like my vegetarian Mapo tofu recipe and give it a try. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for more recipes. Thank you for watching.